Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought it would be really fun to show you how quick and easy it is to make your own DIY doll skirt block. The information in this video will be appropriate for any size fashion doll, from a Barbie up to a BJD. The supplies you need to get your sloper pattern started are very simple. I'm using graph paper here, but you can use regular paper as well. You're going to select the doll that you actually want to do the sloper for. You're going to need some uh, measuring tools. In this case, I'm using a plastic ruler. I have also an arc that I'm going to use to smooth out the areas, but you could also do this by hand. And then I'm also using a flexible fabric measuring tape, which is a quarter inch wide, which tends to work well for dolls. The first measurement is going to be for her waist proportion. This is going to be the thinnest area of her waist. On some dolls, this may be higher or lower based on their actual shape. The next measurement that we're going to take is actually for the widest portion of her hips. Her hip measurement is six inches. We do want to determine what length we want the skirt blocker to be, and I think it's nice to pick a mid-length. That way you can add to it or take away based on the skirt style that you're making. In this case, I'd like it to be about three inches finished, so I'm going to start from the natural waist and measure three inches here. The final measurement that you're going to need to take is actually the drop from the waist to the widest portion of the hips, and on this particular doll, it's one and a half inches. And now we're ready to draft out the pattern. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that hip measurement and divide it by two. In this case, we get three inches. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line on my graph paper three inches long. Once we have our horizontal line, we're going to make a vertical line the length of the actual skirt that we're looking to make. This actual seam is going to be the side seam for the skirt blocks. The next step is to mark the actual waist to hip measurement, which we have indicated here as one and a half inches. With our initial horizontal and vertical markings on the paper, we're actually gonna start to make the curvature from the waist to the hip. In order to do this, we're gonna have to do some quick math. Since the curvy Barbie is a little bit larger than the regular Barbie, the measurements came out really simple. You're going to take the hip measurement and divide it by two, which yields three. You're going to take the waist measurement and divide it by two, which in this case yields two. And then the hip minus the waist is going to be one inch. We're going to take that one inch measurement and we're going to divide it by four. That's going to give us the actual width of the darts and the narrowing in at the waist at the side seam. For the front two squares, this particular one is going to be the front of the skirt, and we're going to cut that on the fold, and this is the back of the skirt. This will actually end up being the side seam. The skirt sloper needs two darts, one in the front and one in the back. The other two measurements are actually going to be able to create the waist to the side seam. I'm going to place the front dart a third in from the folded edge. I'm going to measure a quarter inch, which with this graph paper is super simple and that's gonna be our front dart. For the back dart, I've decided that I'd like it to be halfway from the side seam to the back seam before adding the seam allowance. So in this case, it's gonna end up right here. For the length of the front dart, I'm actually gonna also use thirds and I'm gonna measure it to a third of the front of the skirt. So I'm gonna place a dot right there. I'm gonna do the same thing in the back. During the design process, back darts can be longer, but in this case, for the simplicity of the pattern, I'm gonna go ahead and make the dart lengths the same. So I'm gonna measure down here one third for the length of the actual skirt. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna draw those darts and they're gonna end up a quarter of an inch wide at the top. So you wanna remember when sewing it that you're gonna start that dart one eighth of an inch at the top and narrow to the point. So for the last two quarter inch measurements, we're actually going to do that as the curvature from the hip line in towards the waistband. So I'm going to take a quarter inch measurement on each side of the side seam. Then I'm going to grab my pattern arc and I'm just going to create a rounded edge from that hip line in towards the waistband. I think that looks pretty decent. Flip it over and repeat that on the second side. 
With our lines drawn in and our darts placed both on the front and back of the skirt, the next step is to cut these blocks apart and add the seam allowance. You're gonna trace your blocks onto another piece of graph paper, and then we're gonna add the seam allowance. The thing to keep in mind is that doll clothes sewing generally requires a quarter inch seam allowance. You do wanna take into account some ease. So if your doll is gonna sit or move a little bit or stand, you wanna make sure that you add just a little bit more than a quarter of an inch to make that garment fit the doll well. In this case, I'd recommend adding an extra 1 16th to 1 8th uh, inch to the seam allowance based on how large the doll is that you're sewing for. With our new pattern pieces created, we're just gonna check the side seam lineup and also make sure that the hemline is the same. Our next step is to grab our cotton fabric, cut out our new pattern and test the fit. So here's the fit to our actual curvy Barbie, and I think it actually turned out pretty good. You wanna remember that the basic sloper is gonna drop down directly from the hip to the knee. So if you wanna create a more slenderized skirt, you can take an angle in towards the kneecap. This is the back of the skirt, and I like the placement of the darts. Everything appears to be pretty decent, and I'm pretty happy with the fit. Once you have your sloper complete, you can use this as the base of the garment to make several different styles of skirts. If that's something you're interested in seeing in a future video, please list that in the comment section below. As always, I thank you guys for your time and watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.